What's up? What's up, everybody? It's Kalen Moss with Theory and Thacker. We got the Minute Admin crew here, and we're still learning AMP script. And so today, this is an early morning, by the way. So if my voice sounds groggy, it's because it's 6 a.m. And we're just getting to it. Let's Dedication do it. Motivation. It's Thursday. 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 <laughs> I love it. Glad I'm glad you can bring the the humor, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thor is my middle name, everybody. So Thursday is my day of the week. I just call it Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you for bringing the humor, man. Thank Absolutely. You. We got so what we did was we finished yesterday. We finished this whole exercise with Cameron Robert, but. I honestly want to go back through and start over again. Unless we found something, unless you saw something on his webs on his uh YouTube channel. Let's see his playlists. So he's got Salesforce Marketing Cloud Connect, yep. Journey Builder, Marketing Cloud Quick Start Training, Exercises, AMP Script, Training. And that was updated yesterday, the last one. Let's see what he's got here. How to build an email. How to create a single sign hash key. What's up, Josh? Hope you're doing well too, man. Hey, Josh. Good morning. How to create an automated file import. Einstein engagement scoring. For loop. Math function. Case function. Uh, I, I think we could probably blow back through the AMP script training if you want to and really break it down even more this time. Okay. I'm completely or, down with that. Something that's coming up in my head that I'm thinking of mm -hmm. is what if, since this is a developer, right? This guy's a developer. Right. What if all 64 of these videos we go through and we just we try to actually replicate in marketing cloud because look what he's talking about he's talking about slack notifications on automation studio error how to use symmetric encryption in salesforce how to protect api credentials how to decrypt external symmetric encryption or should we just stick with the AMP script? I think we should go through them, man. I think that's a great idea. And just see if we can duplicate them. Okay. Yep. And then maybe to test ourselves, by the time we get through them, we come back to AMP script and see how much we've retained. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. How to build an email using Content Builder and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I think he... Let's see what he does here. I can only see the original YouTube screen, by the way. I oh, can't yeah. See Thank where you're you. clicking. Yep. There, there you are. Okay. So it looks like he's getting into. Okay. So he's getting into some styling stuff. Oh, for sure. That sounds cool. All right. I saw the, I saw the CSS sign there. Yeah. Uh huh. All right, let's see. Hi there, Trailblazer. My name is Cam, and in this video, we're going to talk about building your very first email in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We're showing you a few tips and tricks as you build your email in Content Builder, an exercise you can try for yourself to become more familiar with Content Builder in Marketing Cloud. So to start off with, we are here on the Marketing Cloud dashboard page. This will be the first page that you enter when you log into Marketing Cloud. Now for our email build today, we could go into Email Studio, into Email, and then choose from the Content option but for today, Let's choose Content Builder and then click on Content Builder again. This will take us to the Content Builder app inside Marketing Cloud. Okay. Okay, and once the page refreshes, we can see the interface for Content Builder. Now to show you around, on the top left-hand side here, we have the local and shared content tabs. In the local tab, we can explore the content in this local business unit, as well as the folders that we can see here. In the shared tab, we'll see any content that's been shared to this business unit. On the main screen here, we have the main content viewing screen. You can see here the content will show by name and type and modified date. You can choose to sort this content by different options as well, 
choose the ascending or descending option, show or, or change how the content shows, as well as change what fields we can see and apply a filter to filter the content that we're seeing. But of course, for today, we're building an email. So let's focus on the create button in the top right hand corner. For today, we'll press on create. I'm going to choose to create a new email message. So now we are creating our email. The first thing we have to do is to decide what template to use for our email build. Now in Marketing Cloud, the template is the foundation and the structure of our email message. It's a framework that contains all the HTML, make sure our email is formatted correctly, and it has all the CSS code needed to make sure our email looks good on desktop and mobile clients. Now Marketing Cloud comes pre-packaged with a few basic templates to choose from. You can see here some different styles and formatting that we can choose from. But for today, for our first email, let's choose the empty option and we'll choose the blank page template and then choose select. And the reason for this is because the blank page template contains no existing formatting. It's just the bare bones, the CSS code that we need to make our email from scratch. <laughs> and with our blank page selected, we can now define the properties of our email. On our properties page, we'll be given a choice to enter the email name, a description, location to save our email to, and a way to tag up our email against a campaign. We can also choose some sharing options and the language that we'll use for our email. We won't touch these settings, but for today, let's just call our email test. And with that done, we'll press on the next button. Okay, so now we're getting to the good stuff. We can now see that we are on the main email building screen for Content Builder. Now to take you around the interface, on the top left-hand side, we can go back into Content Builder. We can also navigate backwards into our properties screen and forwards again to our content screen. We can use the same thing with the back and next buttons. On the left-hand side panel here is our content palette. Now here we can choose from various blocks, content we've saved previously, layouts, and the design, which is the template that we chose earlier, to add to our email. In the main screen here, we can see our subject line and pre-header fields. We can also see three different views, the default plain text and code view to render our email. We also get this module here to change the email's design from desktop into mobile to make sure our email is still mobile responsive. So now you understand the interface for Content Builder, let's talk about the content blocks that we can add to our email. On the left-hand side screen here, we can see the basic content blocks. Now each of these blocks can be dragged and dropped onto our email into our content zone. When you drag content block in, you get the interface panel here. We can modify some of the properties of that content block. Using the button content block, I can now modify the button's text. I can also modify the font, the font size and font color, and some more properties here as well. So in addition to the button content block, we also have the code snippet content block, which is used for saving and reusing code snippets. We have the freeform and text content blocks, used for using a WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get, word processing engine inside of Marketing Cloud to type out and modify the format of text. We have the HTML block, which allows us to write raw HTML into our email. And of course, yeah. the image block for placing images inside of our email. Now we do have some more content blocks below in the advanced and interactive content blocks. But since this is our first email build, we won't cover those ones today. We'll just focus on our basic blocks that we need to build today's email. In addition to the blocks we've got pre-configured inside Marketing Cloud, we also have layouts. Now layouts are the ability inside your Marketing Cloud template to pre-structure how your content will react. You can see here a one column with two content block layout. We can drag that into our email, which allows us to have two content zones that are stacked. We have also the two column layout. You can drag and drop that one in as well, making sure that we check where that blue line is, because that's where the content block will be added to our email. We now have a two column layout. Now our layout has some additional configurations we can put into it. For example, the configuration for this two column layout allows us to change the vertical split to have a 25-75 or any combination of those two uh, columns. We can also change the spacing between those two columns. You can see that spacing there. We can increase that spacing or drop it right down to zero. Now again, there's heaps more layouts that come pre-configured inside Marketing Cloud, as well as some that do have some content placeholders for you. But for today, we'll just focus on some of these first ones as we build our first email. And what we'll do, we'll clean off our deck to start with. We can do that by hovering over a content area and choosing the drop down here and choosing the delete option. So let's clean up what we've done so far and return back to our blank canvas. And there we are. All right, so now we're ready to build our first email. All we're missing is an email to build. Now, as an email marketer, one of my favorite resources is reallygoodemails.com. Hmm. It's a fantastically expert curated selection of emails from across the world that are really good emails. Let me go, let me go. Okay, this. okay, okay. I love the little secret tips here. I love his secret tips. I love it. I'm going uh, to create, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, what is it? Let's see. I'm going to create another folder in, in here and just say test. 
And let's go create that email here real quick. Yeah. Email message so from blank. a template. Blank. blank. Yep. Test with Cameron Robert. Next, I'm just going to say test. And then he went to a website called Really good emails, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Uh, here it is. Teamwork, any email. Look. Okay. Hey, you're getting that email address. Oh, yeah. They want to collect us on a list. Who They're knows, trying to put us on a list. Emails. Yeah. There's the first step to our acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> we all know all email. We know email happens as a team of designers, developers, copywriters, managers, brainstorm on inspiration, or upload your emails for QA using our commenting and annotation features. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so we're here at this tab. What's he saying about it? What we'll do today, since our first bill is going to be in marketing cloud, I think it's only fair that we use a Salesforce email. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's Let's cool. Type Salesforce in the search bar. That's <laughs> what? Today. I think this one here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in Salesforce. That's uh, that's really cool. Dude, look at these. Dreamforce wow. is the biggest media event of the year. And the Dreamforce band is. Register now and plan your perfect Dreamforce. How many uh just how many options do we have? Does it give you a counter? 29? Wow. Wow. Unlock all 10,000 emails. Sign up or sign in. <laughs> wow. Showing you how to's, how comes and helping you in our industry, show off the best to the world. Feedback Friday. OMG, y'all, it's Friday. Even if it isn't, come watch our weekly breakdowns and interviews of what makes the best of the best really good. Unspammed by really good emails, more than an event, a supportive community. Okay. Wow. Job, job board, all kinds of things. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So he found this email that says three steps for an effective email. I think it might be possibly that one. I'm trying to remember what it looked like in the beginning. Three steps. It's gonna, oh right here. Oh yeah, there it is. For today, okay. I think this one here looks pretty good. Create emails that motivate your customers with Email Studio. Fantastic. Once we click into the email, we can choose the view all info button to see our email up close. So for today, let's try and rebuild this email inside Marketing Cloud. You can see we've got a nice header piece, a hero image with some padding on the side. We've got a nice big um, H1 heading there, a bit of text and a button as well. Now we might stop our email build there since most of the rest of this content looks to be the same, heading, text and button. So we'll just focus on making this first section of this email inside our Marketing Cloud. Okay, so let's start off by making some of the base components that we need to recreate this email. Now, the email itself had the Salesforce customer success logo up the top, and it was left aligned and it had some space to the right. So one of the cool tricks we can do is use a layout with our two column layout. And then the left-hand side one here, we'll put an image and we'll leave the right-hand side one blank for now. And below that, there's gonna be a little blue line. That's okay, we can configure that inside of our layout. Now, after that, there's a bit of space, a bit of white space, followed by the hero image. So we'll use our blocks again. We can go into our image and drag an image down below that layout piece, and that'll be our email studio image there. And below that, there's going to be a heading. So you can use the text block for our heading. Below that, of course, is going to be our main body text. So use another text block. And then below that one more time is going to be our button. So of course, we can use our button content block. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be our top menu piece of the email, the hero image, the heading, the main body content, and then the button. All right. So now Okay. Boom. Bless you. You're muted. You're muted still. There you are. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Allergies. Man, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dude. That's why you need to move to Maine. It's too cold up here for allergies. 
Give me one second. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, down there taking a beating in Dallas. <laughs> Love it. You're good. No rush. Woo! Jeez. All right. I like this, though. But you know what I'm thinking about with What's this? That? Imagine if we just started doing pop-up, like, content builder join me sessions. Yeah. Where we were just, like, building these cool emails and content builder and just people joining in. You know, content builder people... Are, People struggle with Content Builder, man. Yeah, it's it's a it's a very finicky tool to click around in a lot. Yeah. So we have, especially if you're just working on just your laptop and you don't have the real estate to really get it to spread out the way you need it to. It's tough. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. So we have. This block set up right here. We have the image right here. We have the text. We have the text. And what does he say over here? Now we're ready to start filling in the content for this email. And what we'll do is back on reallygoodemails.com, a really cool trick is to click on the code button, which actually exposes the HTML code used to make this email. This is useful because we're going to recreate this email. We want to recreate those images as well. Okay. You can, can right click on this image and use the inspect option inside Chrome to see the link to this image. And there is our image there. You can double click on it to select the text for the image and press copy. We then go back into Content Builder and go into our first layout here, open the image block. And you can see here it says to insert the URL. We then paste that URL and there's the image inside Marketing Cloud. And this image is a little bit too big. We have to make it a bit smaller. So we'll untick the scale button. We can then manually set the dimensions for this image. And I think it's about 200 pixels. Feels about right. And the image itself is going to be center aligned on mobile mode. So I'll make sure that's going to have some padding on the left when it's on desktop. It's going to center align. Okay, first let's. Okay, Let let's build out the here. blocks here. Let's build out the blocks here. So okay, we have... Good. Did you add the button block at the very bottom? Oh, did he add a button? Yeah, there's a button block at the, the take the trail button. Okay, so drag this button down here. Yep, all the way to the bottom. That's it. Okay, so we have our setup. And then he said, go to the code block. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they want I mean, you to sign I mean, up so have bad. To Okay, Inspect. then let's see. Okay, here's the image right here. Okay, you sh it shrank down into a little screen about yay wide on my screen. Oh, because let's see. You know why? Why? Here's what I'm going to do. Present, share full screen. Okay. So you can see. Ah, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I don't think it uh, showed the behind the scenes here. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. It was it was shrinking the other screen down as the behind the scenes popped out. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just grabbing this source image. Yep. HTTP. Okay, I just want to read this. HTTP forward slash forward slash image.mail.salesforce.com forward slash lib forward slash a bunch of characters M4 success cloud logo 360 by 98 dot uh, PNG. Okay. Copy. All right. Now... I'm going to shrink this back. Close that out. Share screen again in a different way. Chrome tab. Paste. Okay. Click the layout. Paste the URL there. Hold on. PNG. Source, okay. 
What did he put? He put the HTTP image. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No brackets around it. That's what he has. Okay, what's our error say? Please check image source and ensure yeah. valid. Ensure valid something. Let me yeah, go yeah. back to. Let me go back to inspect. Copy. Okay, got it. You got it. Got it. Got what it. What was it? What was it? Oh, uh, I just think I. I just think I. I just honestly think that I copied it wrong. Okay. And honestly, I probably could go to where it says. Where I'm clicking right here, and it says. Huh. We could probably find it somewhere here. Yeah, it's buried in there somewhere. What is that? Uh, <clears throat> Image.mail.salesforce. Yeah, right here. Er. That's .eot. It's IE fix. But we're looking for a .png, right? .salesforce.com forward slash lib forward slash there's 30, 36 references of it in there. <laughs> FE9? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to Success Cloud logo. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many instances we have. Okay, there's Ooh. only one. There right it there. is. There it is. There's the dot PNG. There it is. And it went away. Where'd, Where'd it go? go? There. <laughs> So that's the that's the source we're copying. There it is. So then we go over here, we paste it into yep. this URL. And then we remove the scale to fit. And I think he said what was the size? Two hundred. Two hundred? Yeah, two hundred. Two hundo. Done editing. We come over here. Find when it goes into mobile. So what we can do is on our image block here, we modify our block settings and give our block here some padding. We'll unlock these four padding sections to modify them independently. Let's get this block about 30 pixels left and right. Let's get some padding there. We click done. We'll now enter the layout settings that we're inside here for our two column layout. And he did that for the mobile layout. That's why he did that to allow some buffer area. Okay. Yeah. So. Click the image, went to block settings, went to uh, padding. Padding. You had to unlock it once you click in there. I like this. Okay, now I'm seeing there's a difference between margin and padding. And padding. Okay, so padding, unlock it, yep, change then... it to 30 pixels on the left, 30 pixels on the right. Done editing. And then... What do we have here? What we'll do is we'll make the left-hand column a little thinner just to push that all the way to the left. You can see there's there enough padding on the side and it's just being pushed to the left. If we go done, you can then check this out. Sure that it's going to be left aligned on desktop, then center aligned on mobile by changing from desktop. Okay, so on the right side, what we'll do is we'll change the block settings or the... Uh, Done editing there. Mm -hmm. And let's change the layout. Where is the, let's see, one second. Layout, configure, 45. That's what he had, right? I believe so. That for ourselves. Enough padding on the side. That's yep, 45-55 split. Done. We can then check this out for ourselves to make sure that it's going to be left aligned on desktop. 
Then central line to mobile by changing from desktop to mobile. And there we go. Nice. Oh, okay. Center aligned. Okay. So on the right, we click done editing. Check, Check. it on mobile. And we are center aligned. Nice. Digging it. Digging it. Okay. So on the left, we'll go here. Mobile. And back to left on desktop. Perfect. Okay. So the next thing to add is going to be that little blue underline that goes across the top of our email. We jump back into really good emails. To get that little blue underline, we can find the color code. By having a quick look at the top of our email, we can right click here and go inspect. If we just check a little higher, we can see here the bottom border, two pixels solid. And that's the color just there. So you can copy that color. You can see the same color as here in our Chrome inspector. So you can see it's that nice blue color. You can take that. Hold up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's putting us on. He's putting me on game that I did. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thursday, Rosalia. Thanks for joining. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Thank you. Appreciate it. How are you doing, Rosalia? Hey, we, we want some interaction in the chat. What are you what are you learning today? Hopefully everybody's learning she's, something new. She's two hours behind me, so it's 527 where she is. Woo! Yeah. Early That's motivation. The motivation. She's supposed to be trying <laughs> to learn some marketing cloud today. Josh, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Uh, Heck yeah, I love it. I love it. So we have, so man, that's crazy. Okay, this is something I always want to remember is how to find the color of something. Yeah, that, that's super interesting. Okay, so we okay. have... Having a quick look at the top of our email, we can right click here and go inspect. If we just check a little higher, we can see here the bottom border, two pixels solid. Okay. Okay, so we inspect. Go... Then you check out that bottom board border. So we have we have the area that we were just finding right here. Mm -hmm. We have that image, right? Where does it say border bottom? I'm going to type that in border. Under or type spot of 14 references, three references now. Colon two pixels. That's it. Solid. So it's going to be yeah. pound zero zero. I can't even read those. A L E zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, it, like, there's no way anybody remembers these uh, color coding. Oh, things. unless you're just color coding every day, man. Every day. Every day. And if okay. you were, I would have a cheat sheet right beside me of right all the colors. Yeah, right next to me all the time. Yeah. You you would not catch me storing that information inside my brain every nope. day. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's the color just there. So you can copy that color. You can see the same color is here in our Chrome Inspector. There it is. In our Chrome Inspector. Okay, mm -hmm. styles. Okay. So you can always find the color of something in the Chrome yeah. Inspector. So you can see it's that nice blue color. You can take that color and we can copy it. Go back into our Content Builder. Let's go into our Layout Settings again. And on our Layout, let's go to the Layout Settings. We can choose to put a border in. Mm, now the border okay. you can choose a color. I type in here the hash symbol as well as that color code. And there's our color. Now, it's not going to be a one pixel border the entire way around. We want it to be two pixels at the bottom only. So what I'm going to do here is we want to unlock that uh, modifier so we can modify these four points independently and choose two pixels for the bottom. So I press two there and we'll give our color back. And so there is that line right there. And go done. And then I'll now show that little blue line across the bottom, that content block. Okay. Okay, got it. Our turn. So layout. Yep. Layout settings. Layout settings. Border. Border. We're going to unlock our interior settings here. Take it all down. Yep. Other unlock. than the bottom one. Go. Drop our color in. And boom. Borderlicious. <laughs> Borderlicious. With, that, with the Salesforce blue. <laughs> that might be a uh, that might be a color code you probably should remember. It yeah, it, that not... might be one on my cheat sheet that I use every day if I were making nothing but Salesforce stuff. Borderlicious, borderlicious, borderlicious. Let's go. 
Zero zero A one E zero. It's like a cheat code. Yep. Okay. We go back and check it in mobile as well. And there it is, still there, just above the image. All right, let's see. Desktop. Let's see. Done editing. Mobile. Got it. Looks good. Okay. Now we need our hero image, right? How are we going to go find our hero image? Hey, the next thing to build is that big hero image. So yet again, we'll go back into really good emails. You can right click on that image and inspect. And you can hopefully just look inside of this link. And there is the image just there. Internal within the link. Interesting. Inside the link. Okay. So we go over to this one. We go to the right. We press inspect. And you can't see what I, okay, let me, let me share. Yeah, I know it's taking the, the block out of our view here when you do that. Yeah. So we have three steps for effective emails, inspect, drop down. We have the ahref, which is the link. And under the ahref, we have the image source. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably pretty small. Oh, it's super small. Not even going to attempt. But I'm going to copy that. Okay. And I'm going to come back over to stop share screen. Come back and share this. Yet again, we'll double click, copy the image URL, go back into content builder. On our image block, we can then paste the URL, and there is that. Perfect. Okay. So let's see. I copied it in the source URL, paste. Let's go. Look at that. Let's go. Look at that. Okay. Image. Now, on the original, we can see there's about a 20 or 30 pixel padding between the top of our email and where this hero starts. So, in our image block, we need to go into our block settings. We need to add some space. Now I'm going to use the margin setting this time. We'll again, unlock it. Let's put 30 pixels at the top. It's going to bump that down. Now, one thing to notice is that the email itself had a gray background. Margin. Had a gray background, huh? So image, block settings, yep. margin. What did he do? Did he unlock all of it? Let's go. Let's see. Into our block settings, we need to add some space. Now I'm going to use the margin setting this time. We can okay, unlock 30 pixels at the top. Okay, he unlocked. Gotcha. So unlock at the top, 30 pixels at the top, boom. Okay. It's going to bump that down. Now, one thing to notice is that the email itself had a gray background. You can check that by going back into our email. You can see here, it's actually got that gray background behind it. So, hmm. inspect that gray background, get the background color. There it is there. Okay. Inspect background, grab background color. I love how we're just sniping stuff out of really good emails. That's uh, that's fantastic. Dude, that's hey. absolutely fantastic. Like, that's insane. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I just, that that whole site just made me have an epiphany, man, of just the capabilities of grabbing things that you might need to build. Bro, yes. What a toolbox. What a toolbox. It really is. Yep, I'll, I'll, I'll be signing up for sure. <laughs> 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 same same yeah. man imagine how many emails we will have ideas about and we could make here in content builder and we can just read the code and just be like how did they make that bg color f5 f2 f2 copy that's gray i guess that's another cheat yep. sheet number and then Let's see what he's saying. We can go back into our content builder and to modify the background in our template, we'll go into the design tab. You can see our design, we can go to the template and sure enough, there is our background. Let's modify that background to that gray color. And there it is. That's just okay. the 
side periphery of this email, we also want the content background to be that color as well. And there we go. Now that padding, that space between at the top of our email and that hero image is going to show us that gray color. So okay. we just colored the margin. So we just go to design, template, background, change it. And that's going to change that. Yep. And then the content background, this stuff is going to change. Right. Boom, bang. There it is. Okay, cool. Now we have to go back into our layout and make sure this layout has a white background. So I'll go back onto our layout settings and the background. We're going to choose white. And there we go. That is now that top piece of the image. So this part, click on that. Mm -hmm. Configure background. Yep, we're just selecting white. White, boom, changed. Okay. Now complete with the 30 pixel padding before the main part of the email starts, kicking off with that hero image. Okay, let's now go in and we'll copy the text from the email as well. And close down the inspector and just copy the text directly from the email. On really ah, that into, always works. We can paste that content directly okay. in. Go done. Back again, we'll copy this text as well and paste it into the second text content area. Now, as you can see, that does not look anything like the original email. We have to make more modifications to the content. So first things first, let's modify that block. To make okay, so I'm going to come over, I'm going to copy it. We have share this tab instead. Go back to the yep. desktop version, copy this. Oh. Uh, you, I think you have, uh-oh, there it is. Did they get you? You got to sign up. There. It's funny how you sign up with Twitter, but not Google. That's interesting. There's no Google sign up. Very interesting. Give me one second. I'm going to sign up. That's Stop usually me. one of the uh, the main options at the bottom of the screen when you go to log in. It's like, just use your Gmail? Yes, yeah. please. Yes, please. Sign it up. Let's see. Usernames can only contain numbers and letters. Boom. Huh. Okay. Well. Sign wasn't, in. Wasn't happy with you. A little, it's a little buggy, not gonna lie. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to sign up over here, everyone. Just, just so you know. Boom. Boom. Usernames can only contain numbers and letters. So I have. Doesn't like it, huh? No. Do you have any special characters? No, none. Huh. None Interesting. Letters. I mean, honest, honestly, man, we could just type that in there if we wanted to. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll just do that. Right here. We'll just take that. We'll say right here. Three steps for effective Boom. emails. And then we have another one. I'm going to click duplicate. What's this say? Create engaging emails and measure your results. Okay. Boom. Okay. Sure. We got our text. Yeah. That's what the original email does. We just need to make sure it's got some padding because the original email. 
Oh, he's on. He's on the. He looks like he's on the. Had text. a white background, small multi content area. Back again. Copy this text as well and paste it into the second text content area. As you can see, that does not look anything like the original email. Good. Right. Small modifications to the content. So first things first, let's modify that block to make sure it has the white background, just like the original email does. We just need to make sure it's got some padding because the original email had about, what is that, about 40 pixels on the top left and right for that first heading. So again, we can go into our padding section here. We can type 40. If we leave it locked, it's going to add 40 pixels around all sides to that text. Now the text size, we can select our text. We can modify the size here. Let's make that nice and big. A little bigger. And we'll go size 30. That's about right. That's size 30. Next, we'll do the same thing, but for the text below. So same steps again. We're going to want to add in some of that padding. We've already got 30 pixels or 40 pixels on the above piece here. You can see we've got 40 added top, left, bottom, and right. So we don't want to add the same amount of padding around all sides of this content. OK. It also looks like the text is gray. So it looks like we're going to adjust the text color to that same gray we used in the block above. OK. If we're, if we're duplicating the email. OK. Padding, 40. Uh, size, what did he put, like 30? Yeah, I think he did 30 on, on all sides, and then 30 for the text. And what's he doing with this? Content block. Instead, in our content block, let's first add 40, so as it's all the sides, then we'll unlock it. So first, Block settings, padding 40. Then we'll unlock it. And remove the padding from our top, which will make that content fit up a bit higher, closer towards that heading. Of course, we need that background to be white as well. So let's make that white. And what we need to is a bit of line height. So I think this text is too close together. So we'll mm -hmm. go to our content editor. We can choose our text. And we'll find our line height here. Let's choose 1.5. Interesting. Yeah, a bit more space down now, which looks pretty good. What we'll now do, we've done some editing. Okay, so. You're just cleaning up. Just cleaning up shop. Yep. Then unlocked it, changed that to zero. Or wait, 40. He still had 40. But he came in and unlocked it. Changed that to zero. Pulled that up. Change the content. Yep, to 1.5 spacing. There we go. It's always good to check. He's going to change that text color. I'm calling it now. Let's go to our <laughs> here and mobile. And we can see here that the line height's not quite right for that text. Maybe because it bumps it at two lines. So we can do, Ooh. so we can go back into here and try and modify our line height to set it a bit more spaced. Alternatively, we can bring the size down just a fraction so it doesn't bump over two lines and go into mobile view. Okay. So mobile view, it's actually good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good for mobile. Let's check in on desktop. Looking good for desktop as well. Okay. We're on the home stretch now. So let's finish off our last content block, the button. We're going to get into really good emails and we need to copy the text for our button as well as that color code. You can see from our button, that's going to have some slightly rounded corners. A bit more padding on the left and right than there is on the top and bottom. Okay. The text, we'll go into our button content block and paste our text in. We can also copy the color by right clicking, going inspect. Okay, so for us, we're going to just go to button, type take the, the trail. trail. Come over to here. We're going to steal our Salesforce color. Which was what pound z <laughs> zero? <laughs> what is he? Content block and paste it in. You can also copy the color by right clicking, going inspect, and copying that color code. Make sure so we copy that zero color. seven 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 BC. Let's see. All right, we'll just go over and do it. Let's see. That's the timer. All right. 
Good we'll session. Good session. Good session, man. We learned we, a we, ton. Huh? Learned so many tips and tricks from him. Dude, yeah. Really good emails. Really good emails. Yep. Uh, inspecting stuff, realizing we could do, we could honestly just add in those links that fast and that easy from a different web, from a different yeah. part of the internet. Yep. I mean, if so you I'm think sure. about it, that gives you the power to almost open any HTML or link and snatch the picture they used. Yep. Exactly. That's uh, that's pretty neat. That's powerful. Nice work, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I will see you in a little bit. Yep. Happy Knocking Thursday, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Rosalia. And happy Thursday. Minute Admin out. Minute Admin out. See you, everyone.